Nepal's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Narayan Khadka, met with the Chinese delegation led by diplomat Liu Jiangcho on Sunday in Kathmandu. Jiangcho is part of the Chinese Communist Party's International Liaison's Office. The CCP's International Liaison's Office was formed in 1951 to maintain ties with other Communist Party around the world. It later began to cultivate ties with all types of political parties across the world, not just Communist ones. Liu Jiancho was earlier the spokesperson for China's Foreign Affairs Ministry. He had also served as China's ambassador to the Philippines and Indonesia. Jiancho was received at the airport by delegates from various parties in Nepal. After his arrival, Jiancho paid a courtesy visit to Nepal's Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Doba. He then went to the Nepal's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and had a meeting with Foreign Minister. Narayan Kadka. The meeting was about the strengthening of ties between Nepal and China. Another key agenda is the potential reunification of the communist parties in Nepal. Two communist party factions support a part of the ruling coalition headed by the Nepali Congress. The largest party in Nepal's parliament is the Communist Party of Nepal, unified Marxist-Leninist. They have the most seats in the assembly but serve as the opposition. China's visit comes as Nepal prepares to, for elections this November. One more reason for the CCP delegation's visit is the implementation of projects under the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. These talks come days after Nepal reported Chinese incursions along its northern border. And for more on that report, our correspondent Saloni Murarka has sent us this story. A high-level delegation from China has arrived in Kathmandu on a four-day visit. Liu Tianchao, head of the International Department of the Chinese Communist Party, leading a delegation will call on the party leaders along with the Prime Minister and the President. One of the key agendas of the visit is to reunite the communist forces and also to boost the party-to-party -party relation. This comes at a time when we know that uh, Himalayan nation is heading towards the provincial and federal elections that will take place later this year in November. Chinese are still weighing the options of reuniting the communist parties in Nepal. Along with this, Chinese officials will also convince the Nepali leaders to implement projects under BRI and take it forward. Saloni Murarga for Vyond World is one in Kathmandu, Nepal. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.